Hello. You'll be pleased to know that the preparation for your coursework assignment is almost over. Here are a few reminders to make sure that you do well this week. First thing I'm going to tell you is that this is a reading assessment. Your understanding of the story is very important, so you must read it as thoroughly as you can. To help you, you could go to one of the favourites on this web page, which is a live reading of the story. You must read the question as well. Make sure that you address all the things that it focuses on, particularly suspense. But there is no getting away from it. You will have to read the actual story itself. And if you don't, your grade will not be good. You need to get your mind right when it comes to your attitude to writing this essay. Most people hate writing essays, but you have to remember that it's your job to interest me and to interest yourself in what you're writing about. If you're not interested, I won't be. Here's a quote. You're going to see about six or seven quotes in this presentation. This one, I hope, reminds you a little bit about some of the things that we talked about in class. Paddy made a really good point about how the, the narrator was carried down and down and down into the dungeon. And he had a really good idea of how that reminded us of some other ideas that we might associate with being taken down. Here's another quotation about something that the narrator comes across later in the story, towards the end. Now, when we were in class we talked about some of the writer's techniques. There's a very obvious writer's technique being used here, and you'll need to mention that in your essay. Reading this quotation, I hope, will remind you to look back at that diagram that we drew about the things that we find in Gothic horror stories. In particular, we always seem to find a particular type of character who has a tendency to have a, a very hard stare and a, tends to threaten people just by looking at them. We talked about how this sort of character crops up, for example, in Dracula or Frankenstein. Nobody likes the feeling of being watched. It's a typical facet of Gothic horror. We have lots of notes in our books about Gothic horror and what sort of things are typical in Gothic horror stories. Keep coming back to Gothic horror and your essay will have a tendency to stick together because that's what this is. It's a Gothic horror story. We're also thinking about darkness we're thinking about suspense, we're thinking about the feelings that a person experiences when they're being put into an environment that's very threatening. If you can go a little further with that using quotes and explain why we have this kind of effect, why, we, why these sorts of things affect us the way they do, you'll be doing well. darkness is at the heart of most horror. And of course suspense we talked about for around about two lessons. So we know really well what causes suspense, the feeling that something bad is about to happen. Look for ways that the author has created the feeling that something bad is going to happen. Think about how the narrator makes us feel as if it might be happening to us. Every time the narrator describes something that is happening to him, if we're deeply involved in the story, we experience the same fears, the same sensation of disgust and horror. Look at this quotation here you can almost imagine it happening to you. It's all about the narrator pulling you into his position so that you can share the feeling of being scared. There are lots of different ways a narrator can achieve that. It's in his choice of words, even in his choice of punctuation. And by taking you step by step through his own experiences 
because after each sentence in this quotation you expect the next thing to happen. It's predicted, if you like. Try and show what you've learned about Edgar Allan Poe. It would be nice to do a little bit of extra uh, research on the internet if you can, but we learned an awful lot about the sorts of things that he is interested in and the sorts of things that he's written about in most of his stories. We know very well now what was his biggest phobia. Try and give a sense of what the, the world was like when Edgar Allan Poe was alive. Some of the things in his story seem extraordinary to us, but they were commonplace hundreds of years ago. And we know that from the handout that I gave you from the Horrible Histories. Emotions are really important. One of the other things we talked about in Gothic Horror Stories was the intensity of emotion. It's really, really over the top, but then the narrator is in an extraordinary situation, and you would be very emotional. Think about that intensity of emotion and how it is shown. It's a good idea as well to show that you understand the structure of the story. You've got information about this in your handout, and you know the story has three very distinct peaks. Lastly, good luck with the essay, and I hope you're going to try your best.